This is a short video about the Western scenery layout. Of course, people do their own layouts, but the idea in Western is that both players take a full part in choosing the scenery, setting it up, etc. etc. Now, I'm going to have to pan this around a little bit, but the basic table for 15mm is 5 foot by 3 foot, 5 foot by 3 foot. The little dots on the cloth show where the six inch grid is. So each square is six inches. If you place in 25 millimeter or 28 millimeter, instead of six inch squares, it's probably much, much better to use a nine inch square. Or if you've got a nice big table, a 10 inch square. Because the mechanics are the same, but the idea is create a game which is fun to play and enjoyable and intellectually challenging. Anyway, as you scan around this five foot by three foot table, the cloth's actually made by Flames of War, and a very nice cloth it is too. I've gone for deserty side this time, just to make things clear. Usually use the green side, because a lot of Western battles are fought in quite nice countryside. You'll see that each player has bought five templates of scenery. Five templates. The five templates are allowed to him by his force lists. So different forces are allowed different things. Now, going to the right here, the chap over there with the nice black chair and the white box has brought a wood template, a very rough hill template, a still water template, a gentle hill template, and right over there is another wood template. As I said, it's specific to what force you have, what you're allowed to bring. Now, the man on this side has brought a rough hill template, a very rough hill template, a dead ground template. I don't know why it's on a yellow template, but that's all I had at the moment. And close to us are two buildings templates. Now the templates are parked in sort of like a pit stop along either side of the table. They're going to be positioned one by one. One player places one, then the other player places one. And I'll show you that now. This player begins by placing his template on the table and he's going to place it there. Each template occupies two whole squares. This player responds by choosing one of his templates and he's going to place it there. To stop the template ending up as one huge conurbation, each template can only do two other touches. This chap here responds by placing his still water template up there this player chooses another building now, actually no he's going to choose he choose one of this man's templates he's going to take one of his wood templates and place it there the person on this side of the table is going to choose his wood template and lay it there because he wants a bit of cover to try and sneak up a little bit the player from the other side chooses another building's template now, if he places it there, that's fine. But this template touches two other templates now. So nothing more can touch this. Try and preserve some sort of open area in the game. The other player has a gentle hill. He's going to place that there. This player chooses a very rough hill there. There we go. And this player choose the last piece which is a uh, just a rough hill there it is just to state the obvious because these are battles not skirmishes these buildings just represent a built-up area each square is about 50 or 60 meters so this isn't an individual house that's just some built-up area because it's a battle not a skirmish these particular buildings are Peter Pig buildings from various Peter Pig ranges there's a boat here, and I really don't know why, but there is a boat there. Now that's the initial part. The next part of terrain is to put out what's called partials, or very light terrain. Each player gets eight. For partials, you can use anything you like. Uh, there's a destroyed wagon, uh, a sign, a bit of scrub, some odd rocks, anything you think of as partial. The first player has eight. He's gonna put one there, two, three, one right over here, just out of sight, four, five, six, seven, 
He's putting out eight to give himself a little bit of cover here and there. There are his eight. Now the other plague is his eight. He's going to put some near the corners. One, two, three, four, five. And six, seven, eight. Each piece isn't literal. So figures don't hide behind this particular little bit of scrub. It means the square has a little bit of partial cover. Buildings provide excellent cover for defences. Very rough hills provide excellent cover. Woods are moderate cover. And there's no cover on me and the gentle hills. They provide no cover at all. And that's it for a 15 mil table setup. Thank you.